Okay, so we're going to take a look at the pre-production and production workflows that we've enabled in Premiere Pro CS5 to make you more effective in your pre-production and script development and also on set while you're recording your content. We're going to start off in Adobe Story, which is our new online screenwriting application that allows you to collaborate with other writers as you develop your script. Here I'm looking at Adobe Story within Safari, so we're actually connected to the web looking at the contents of my projects that I'm working on. And I'm going to open up one of the scripts that we've been developing. On the left-hand side, you can see that we've got an outline of uh, the overall script with the individual scenes broken out. And we've got additional information that tells us about the characters that are in these scenes and, and other information. And we can view the contents of these scenes on the left but we can also see the scenes in their full glory in the script view on the right. So we can see that uh, this is our location, this is the description of the action, all of that information that you would typically see in a, in a script. Now the cool thing about Adobe Story is that all of this information that we're adding, for example this character here, this dialogue here, is tagged automatically as metadata. But we don't have to really think about tagging metadata, we're just writing a script and that automatically fl flows through into our production. So when we're finished developing our script and we're ready to start production, we can export this from Adobe Story as a separate file which we can then take into Adobe On Location. And we're going to use Adobe On Location on set to help us drive our production workflow and help us understand the content that we've got to create. So when I export this script, we can uh, save it out as a copy, um, as uh, an Adobe script, and then we can go into On Location and import that same file. Now here in Adobe On Location, when we import this script, we're going to see that it interprets all of the information that we saw in Adobe Story and brings it into the shot list to allow us to see all of the content that we need to record while we're on set. So you can see that we've got all of these shots broken out exactly in the same way as we saw in uh, Adobe Story. And we have all of the additional information that is going to be useful for us on set as we cr create our content. And this information, of course, can be developed. So here we've got a, uh, a shot here. We can add information on the camera moves that we want to use. We can do all sorts of things to add more information. What I'm going to do first is just break this scene out into multiple shots, which Adobe On Location allows us to do really easily. And what that's going to give us here is a number of new shots, all related to scene number two, all related to the tower room, that we can then start to develop. So we've got different shot sizes here. And as we go through and record our content, we're going to be able to log additional information. So if we were recording this shot at this point, we could say, in the description field, whatever we want. As we go through production, we're building up a complete list of all of the content that we've recorded, along with all of the metadata that we generated automatically from Adobe Story and manually while we're working on set as we see the action unfold. So this really helps us in our production workflows and helps us get from script to an on-set workflow that's faster and more efficient in no time at all.